All right. So the next question is a bit more sciencey. How accurate are the new blood tests for Alzheimer's? And should I get one? So you've heard about the new blood tests for Alzheimer's and you've heard about the excitement that our field faces. The best thing that I could say when we talk about blood testing for Alzheimer's is I think we need to just pause a little bit and we need to take a step back and say, what are we really testing? What are we looking for? What is the test results that, that my doctor may or may not order? What does it really mean? So to me, I use a, a baseball game analogy a lot. I'm a big Yankee fan. I'm in New York right now. When it comes to blood testing for Alzheimer's disease, both diagnosing Alzheimer's as well as reducing risk for Alzheimer's disease, I truly believe that we're in really the first inning, maybe the second inning of a nine inning game. I think people have heard a lot about the P-Tau 217 test. Let me explain what that means. Tau is a protein, 217 is just a number. It's a type of the protein called an isoform. Everyone's saying that the P-Tau 217 test, it's all the rage. Everyone needs to get this test and it's amazing. Well, not so fast. The P-Tau 217 test is confusing. If someone has symptoms that are thought by the doctor to be related to Alzheimer's disease, then a P-Tau 217 test is a great test, potentially, caveat, for screening a person, whether they truly have cognitive changes due to Alzheimer's or a different condition, whether it's a medical condition like low thyroid or B12 or a different dementia. The challenge here is that not all P-Tau 217 tests are created equal. The number of people that come to me or ask me questions about a P-Tau 217 test, oh, I have Alzheimer's, test was positive. Not so fast. Was the person sick that day? Was the sample transported correctly? Which lab did the test? Because there are so many different labs out there. In our lab, we run every single test that we do in duplicates on multiple machines. And only that way, when you cross compare across all the different machines, that's the way to do this. My goal is to one day create the cholesterol test for the brain. And the cholesterol test for the brain, to me, means instead of getting an HDL and an LDL and a triglyceride that all of us get in our doctor's offices, and we're getting our cholesterol tests, it's going to be a same sort of panel of tests that people get before their symptoms. And we have a mission-driven organization. It's called allslabs.org, A-L-Z labs.org, where we're trying to offer at-cost testing that prioritizes one thing, and that's accuracy as well as transparency, that these tests are not perfect and these are early days. So the question is about blood testing in Alzheimer's. I'm excited. I eat, sleep, and breathe blood testing for Alzheimer's. I believe in blood testing for Alzheimer's, both diagnosis, which is separate in someone who's symptomatic, as well as someone before they have symptoms from a risk monitoring perspective. We are not ready as a medical society, as a system, to press go and start ordering these blood tests on everybody without transparency, adequate education, ind.org backslash blood test has some great information. Allslabs.org has some great information. We're not ready yet, in my opinion, to just start ordering these tests on everybody.